The trial of the accused killer of NFL star Sean Taylor, who was shot and killed during a burglary of his home six years ago. The key to the case, the defendant's videotaped confession, which was played for the jury. Now the defense must persuade the jury not to believe what they heard. ABC's Gio Benitez tracking this trial for us. Good morning, Gio. Good morning to you, Robin. For the first time since Taylor's killing six years ago, we're getting a look at that controversial videotape played for the jury Thursday. And listen closely, because this tape could affect the whole case. This morning, video of Eric Rivera's apparent confession after police say he shot Washington Redskins safety Sean Taylor in 2007 in the NFL star's own Miami home. On the right, you see Rivera, then 17, speaking with a detective. How many times did you shoot him? Do you know where he shot him? And uh, how quickly did he go down? Police say Rivera shot 24-year-old Taylor in the upper thigh, which severed his femoral artery. Taylor died after bleeding to death. Investigators believe it all started as a botched burglary, that Rivera and four others wanted to steal cash and thought Taylor's home was empty. And what were you guys planning to go to shop at about four? You were going to get the money and leave. You guys were planning on, on burglarizing the house that we were going to do? Yeah. Rivera's attorney says this confession was coerced. Prosecutors point to this diagram they say Rivera drew, showing where he was at the time of the shooting. Monday in court, Rivera's father taking the stand, saying he wasn't there when the video was taped, telling jurors he was searching for his son at local police stations. Prosecutors say Rivera came to the police station willingly and refused to call his parents. I went to see how he was doing and was he okay? Yeah, he's my son. He was, uh, he was a kid at, the point, and at that point. Any, any parent is concerned about their son. Rivera has pleaded not guilty and could face life in prison if convicted. Closing arguments may begin as early as tomorrow, and the 12-person jury will likely begin deliberations later this week. One of Rivera's co-defendants has pleaded guilty. Three others, Robin, are awaiting trial. All right, Gio, thank you. We're going to turn it to uh, ABC's chief legal anchor, Dan Abrams, now. And Dan, in looking at the tape, the confession tape, yeah. is there anything that you saw the conduct of the police, anything that the defense can use and say it was coercion. Well, I think actually the best thing the defense has going for it is how hard the tape is to hear. I mean, it is a really tough tape to understand and to hear. That's not a good sign for the defense, and I'm saying that's the best thing that they have uh, going for them. Look, they're bringing in the father to basically say, this was a kid. Uh, I couldn't find him. I was looking all over for him. Effectively, it sounds like the father's saying the police sort of take him off, pull him in, question him. The problem is that you still do have what he said on that tape. It is very hard after a judge has admitted a confession like this for the defense to be in the position of effectively catch up where they're saying, yes, I know you hear that uh, on the tape, but it was all coerced. Did the police play some games with him? Sure, the way police do all the time. Did they have one of his uh, co-defendants walk past him so he could see him there and get nervous? Absolutely. But I think that when it comes to saying that this tape is so untrustworthy, the defense hasn't presented anything There's trouble yet. there. But it's not just the tape. There were diagrams that he drew of the house and where people were. It's a very specific confession. Now, the defense would say some of the co-defendants had been to the house before, so they knew the house, but that doesn't prove anything. The problem is it's all of it taken together. Uh, the big question now, of course, is going to be, is it possible does he take the stand? Do you right? think he will? Look, no. Um, I think that it would be, because mm -hmm. remember, it goes from the difference between explaining away evidence to actually having to explain evidence. So if he takes the stand, he doesn't get to just say, well, this shouldn't be considered. He has to explain exactly what he was doing. But boy, when, when you have a defense that's going as poorly as I think this one is, you never know, extremely unlikely. Okay. Thanks so much, Dan. Appreciate Thanks, it. Guys.